Good morning, YouTube. So, uh, last night we're watching our daily dose of YouTube. And, uh, the crime in New York is putting retailers out of business. And it's so screwed up. Um, I'm not sure if the people realize, right, when you vote for somebody in, you know, your state and local laws, that you need somebody who is going to do something about crime, right? Because if you don't do anything about the crime, what happens? Now you got unhappy citizens, people, you know, so just pile this on top of the immigration problems too, right? So you already had theft and all that stuff going on, and then you're, now you have more theft because those people who are here necessarily don't have what they need to survive if they're here legally or if they're on the system. You know, who, who really knows? Oh, sorry. I'm just going to hold the phone. Uh, to the point that Walmart just went out of business. You know, the retailers just say, oh, let them go, oh, let them go. We're going to get sued for all this stuff. Uh, that's possible, right? But the retail consumer, right? Or not the retail consumer. The retail business can't handle theft. They can only handle a small portion of theft. On top of the internal theft that goes on in the store, um, you know, which is, is probably happens everywhere. But when you vote for somebody, what's important to you in your community, right? Well, you want a safe community. Do you have a safe community? I don't think so. Um, you have more people, homeless people now on the streets and the corners and the Wawa's and everything else. Um, people living on the streets, people living in tents and cardboard boxes all over the place. I don't think that's safe by any means. You don't feel safe going to the stores. You don't feel safe, safe being out in public. Surely not safe in Philadelphia whatsoever, so let's just talk about that. You want to vote for somebody is for the people, you know? And I don't understand, like, when people vote for somebody, how they're not voting for someone that says, hey, we don't want crime anymore. We don't want retail theft. We don't want gun violence. We don't want drugs and junkies uh, selling crack on the corners or whatever the drugs are um, and sleeping on our streets or sleeping in our shopping districts or whatever the case may be. So when you vote for somebody, you should be voting for the person who's going to say, I'm going to get rid of crime or I'm going to have the harshest penalties for crime, not set a small minimum like Florida. Well, if it's over $30, you're still telling people to go steal because the people of the world today on social media don't care. They're getting this education quick, fast, in a hurry and say, well, who cares? I'm going to go steal $30 worth of products every day that I go out. Now, they can do that all day long. If they don't get caught, what's the difference? You know, but to, to say that you have to steal a th up to $1,000 for it to become a, a felony or whatever it is in New York is crazy, crazy. There should be zero tolerance for theft. On top of that, what does theft do to the community? What does theft do to the cost of car insurance for catalytic converters, right? Look what... Look how fast they raised insurance. The next year, boom. Not a small increase, a huge increase from theft. It ain't free. Uh, what are they doing to products in these stores? Well, now they have to train their people, cost money. Refit the uh, stores with more security devices, cost money. Right? More cameras, more security costs money, costs money, costs money. Now those costs have to be pushed pushed down to you, the consumer. So now that crime drives inflation also, right? So you got inflation from the you know the power above, and then you have inflation that's forced onto the consumer because they have no choice because your state and local laws are not protecting you, uh, the consumer, or 
the residents, or the business owners. They think, oh, well, they have insurance. Well, there's only so many times that you can call your insurance company and say, I've been robbed. Then before they raise your rates to where you can't afford to do business, or they just say, we are, we're not, we can't cover you anymore. It just doesn't become worth it. it. Just doesn't become worth it. You know, what happens if they start going to steal gasoline? You know, what's going to happen to the price of gasoline if they start stealing gasoline at the pumps? Well, in New York, I could steal $30, right? So they can do that all day long. All day long. And then, you know, or uh, no, a thousand. A thousand. Go steal a thousand dollars worth of fuel from the gas stations all day long. Or do it at Wawa or whatever. The price of gasoline will go through the roof. And I'm sure that's there's theft in petroleum now, but it's on the smaller scales. But, you know, when you vote for somebody, you need to, you know, think about, you know, a lot more than just, oh, he's a cute face. Uh, oh, and, and he's for LGBTQ, whatever, or he's, you know, he's going to do this, he's going to do it. No, they need to do what the serious problems are. Crime, drugs, uh, you know, tons of stuff. I mean, what other things do you have? Like, I'm 50 years old. What other things I complain about in my community? There's probably not much I would complain about. But I'll tell you right now, I don't like seeing homeless people everywhere I go. I don't like seeing people begging for begging for money at Wawa's or the intersections. I sure don't like people getting robbed or shot, uh, you know, or driving through the hood and you see, you know, abandoned buildings everywhere. Because that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Eventually, you're just going to see abandoning shopping malls and abandoning places like that's just because it's going to get to a point to where well we're not going to do business in new york right it's it's already happening right like, it ain't even worth it and then you know it's going to turn into crummy little crummy little i don't even know how to say it you're going to have smaller little businesses that aren't really you know the shopping experience that you may be that you may want you know they're going to have some smaller mom and pop people, but they can't, they can't afford the glitz and glam for a location, right? Because of the expense. And then they can't afford to get, get robbed. So once they start getting robbed, like they were doing in Philly, they're going to be out of business. They can only handle so much before you say, ah, my dream is ruined because, uh, my state and local laws didn't protect me. The American dream was ruined because the state and local laws didn't protect me. How about that? And, and, and that, the government too. You know, they should be taking crime seriously as well. Thanks for watching.